Hi guys, um, just a little video this morning. I'm inside, uh, so there's no Aussie dog today. Unfortunately, he's asleep somewhere. Um, I just wanted to get on and make um, a little video because what's going on in the crime community still about this Chris Watts case? Now, um, if you subscribe to my channel, you know that after the Ruzex pleaded with YouTubers to stop all the conspiracy theories and non-fact-based information and uh, all theories along those lines, asked them to stop doing it because it was destroying them, um, that I feel that we should do that, that we should respect the family because, you know, we all make videos saying, oh, I respect Shenanda, da, 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 like this, but if you really, really respected my opinion, if you really, really ex respected the family and the memory of those poor people who were brutally slain by their husband, um, possibly others, who knows, that, that the showing of the respect would be that you stopped all these conspiracy theories and you actually listened to the family and acknowledged them. Um, so that's what I've done. And I know that a lot of people have, have done that as well, but um, there were a few that refused to do this. And if you know me, you already know my feelings about um, a certain woman who has now um, stopped doing videos. Thank God, maybe she's starting to get well and, and putting herself first. But those videos became more and more outlandish, more and more um, incredible theories non-fact-based, that were just going into the, the nitty-gritty, the sort of dirty parts of, of this gruesome situation unnecessarily. Um, for views, I don't know. And then the family asked this person and all of us to stop. Then this person became more deluded and started, and all the conspiracy theories that she was thinking about the Watts case sort of um, permeated it feels, into her own life. Until then, she thought that they were um, trolls, hackers, people um, cloning her phone, watching her get out the shower. I don't know where her phone is or where the computer is if she's being watched getting out the shower. Um, and it got more and more and more until eventually the, the paranoia sort of um, got blasted towards the Rusex and this person made a video saying that the Rusex owe her an apology and that if only they'd go onto her YouTube channel she'd maybe think about leaving them alone. If not, tough crap Rusex. Um, it was all fairly shocking to me because it was quite clear that we were watching a person who perhaps needed to take some time out. Um, we know that uh, she locked herself out of her own Facebook account. We know that she um, closed down her YouTube channel by mistake herself. We know that no one else bought a phone or tried to um, buy something with her money. It was her. They saw a video and then she made a video about that. She said, oh, my mistake, it was actually me. Um, and it just got more and more insane. Um, so that's one side of things, but also the conspiracy theory itself, or maybe not a conspiracy theory, maybe, it could be true, who knows. Um, but bear in mind that we have persecuting a person who so far, in terms of the real professionals, because bear in mind, we are all armchair detectives here. We, this is not our profession. This lady, um, M.M., didn't work for the FBI, the CBI, the, the police department. Um, but yet, um, some of us feel that we are above that and that if only we were working for them, we would have solved this case by now. But the fact is that the case might be solved already. The case might be closed. And instead of us thinking, I know, I know, I know, and anyone who disagrees with me, anyone who gets in my way is a hater or a troll or is out to get me, maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's just that some people disagree and that there may be another side of the coin. So yes, we can put our viewpoints across, and if we're going to be open to the comments, then people are allowed to comment and have difference of opinions without being shouted at, blasted, uh, being rude to, abused, um, it's all got completely out of hand. Um, 
I was just responding to a person's video um, that they put up um, with them showing the sort of grainy footage of Chris um, loading the car with what, you know, um, and then obviously the blowing up and it's a different person. They can see a ponytail and a cap. Um, so they're saying it's this certain person, you know, um, I don't know if you're allowed to say her name. Um, I, I won't. I can't see a ponytail. I can't see, um, a cap. I can't see a woman there. I don't think anyone else can, can they? I think you see what you want to see. Um, and so we're persecuting this person who so far is not guilty of anything apart from sleeping with a married man. And this is what's interesting because a fair amount of people in this community are uh, women. And what's really interesting is that don't we always blame the other woman? Throughout any kind of problem, even down to the, you know, the Meghan and Harry um, scenario right now here in the UK, everyone's blaming her. Not him. Everyone's saying that it's her, that she's, um, you know, the Jezebel who's dragged him um, there. And they're saying the same thing about um, Chris Watts's girlfriend affair. And this is a young woman who so far has not been guilty of anything apart from that, not been proven guilty. She may have had something to do with it. I don't think we'll ever know because I don't think we'll ever find out the truth. And isn't that scarier than the conspiracy theory? Isn't it terrifying to think we won't ever know? Isn't it terrifying to think that maybe he did do it alone and that he will never tell us why or how? But yet it's interesting how as women we are immediately seeing what we want to see and that it's her fault, his girlfriend's fault, that she's definitely something to do with it. She might have been, who knows, but that she was there. And um, and even now this morning, I was responding to a, a lady who had made a video showing this grainy footage. And I said, you know, my thoughts. And what I got back was a barrage of, you know, when people reply to you in, in capital letters with lots of shorthand and, and just, oh, go F yourself, you, you're a team so-and-so, team this. And so this is what I wanted to do the video about. What is going on? Since when were there teams? I'm not sure what's going on because someone, very rude lady, I think her name was Country Gal. You don't know anything, your team TP, go back to where you came from, you're not welcome here, fa la 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 la. And when I, you know, in my British way, I said, I'm sorry, um, I, I just disagree with um, what's being said. No need to, you know, um, have a go at me. I'm not a, a troll or a hater or I have to get you or I have to get anyone. I got more back. I have freedom of speech. Sha, 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 da, da, da. This sort of defiant rage. Um, and I'm wondering where that's coming from in this case. Why is everyone a team? And can you not disagree with someone else's theory? Since when did we sort of go back to the schoolyard and say, well, if someone doesn't agree with what I think, then, you know, evidently I need to sort of uh, get them out of here or, um, you know, fight. Why is that the case? Someone can disagree with you and you can say, oh, okay, fine, I disagree with you. Everyone has their own thoughts and their own um, mind and their own opinion and I'm just wondering how over the internet we feel so confident to be so rude and insulting to others that we'd never do to their face. I hope we wouldn't. But also that goes into these conspiracy theories and these videos. It's like someone's taken the brakes off and that we feel that we can say anything and that's probably true, we can, we do have the freedom to do that, but is it right to do that? The Ruzex asked people on YouTube who are doing conspiracy theories to stop because it's destroying the family further. And this family, God alone knows, has been through more than any of us will see in a lifetime. And yet, even now, one of these comments, when I said that the video should be taken down or to try and do another case, someone else said, if this family doesn't like people talking about the Watts case or watching the new film, then tough shit. They don't need to watch. And is that what this family deserves after what they've been through?
us sitting there talking about his daughter, his grandchildren, in detail, what we think went on and how the police department didn't do their job and the FBI didn't see things, didn't notice things. How do you think that that affects their life? A lot. And that we surely have a responsibility as adults who claim that we care about this family to really care about the family, right? And to listen, rather than say, oh, the Rusex want us all to stop, oh, FM, yeah, I don't care. They can say what they want. They want to speak to me. If they want to really fight me, then they get onto my YouTube channel. Come on, yeah. It's, it's like being a toddler, but it's also really barbaric. And I'm sorry for this rant, but I had all these thoughts that had to come out. Um, because I've just been so shocked at this, at why there are teens, why people are so sure online of everything. So, uh, yeah, give me, a, give me a, a little message to tell me what you think, why you think. There are all these different teams, and that if you believe one thing, you're in a team, and if you believe the other, you're in a team, and that team hates that team because they're doing that. To it's only YouTube. It's not, you know, it's not our profession. So, um, yeah, that's my rant for today. And uh, thank you for listening, if you have listened to the end. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.